Hello, hello. Now, let's continue with the hands. I start with the cube, taper it here towards the base of the fingers, go to side view, and add three loops. Select these and extrude individually for the fingers. Choose individual origin and scale it down for a nice taper. Our fingers differ in sizes, so make sure to scale them accordingly. Then extrude this for the thumb. I select each finger and assign them to different facets. Just select the faces, Shift H to isolate, go to Sculpt Mode, hit W, and select Facet from Visible. Then repeat this to the other fingers. This will help us to isolate or mask once we start sculpting. Then I add loops for the joints. Add the Subdiv modifier and apply. Go to Sculpt Mode and shape the hand. I start shaping the thumb, but make sure to check the other views. Then isolate each fingers and shape them. It looks too thick from this view, so I make them thinner and taper them towards the tip. Since this is a male hand, it means it has larger joints. So widen the fingers from this view. We can auto-mask by face sets, so we won't affect the other fingers. Then I remesh and smooth. Then before I sculpt further, I join the hand and the arm. This will allow me to blend them, especially once I add the muscles or the tendons. Using the clay strips, I build a muscle group in here. Then another muscle group here, which appears to be longer and narrower. Our hands have fats that blend or smooth, so don't stress too much in remembering each muscles. Then add creases here. Build the phalanges, starting with the knuckles. Then these are the tendons from the forearm's extensor muscles. These are smooth on the wrist area because of a band that binds the tendons. Draw these for the webbings. Because of these, you'll see that the fingers appear longer from the back of our hand than from the front. And make the creases. Then for the nails, I mask them first. Use the draw sharp on the base and the sides of the nail. Then grab brush to pull the nail out. Then I taper these some more. Repeat the same process for the thumbnail. Then there are two tendons at the back of the thumb that create this hollow area. To make the hand less stiff, I use the post brush with auto mask face sets to pose the fingers. With a new pose, I redo the creases here. And more creases on the palm. Remember that your hand is just right in front of you for your reference. That's all. Bye.